I remember first signing up for the tech tribe, but I couldn't because they'd closed their doors to new members. Oh man, did it only make me want to join even more to find out what was the secret source that was, you know, the going on behind the scenes there. So hey, my name is Pete and up until recently, I used to run my own MSP, but since selling, I'm still involved in the MSP community and I'm still a Tech Tribe member. So today I wanted to take you into a bit of a deep dive, taking you behind the scenes as much as I'm allowed to, to show you and help you answer that question of, is it worth paying 49 bucks per month to sign up for the Tech Tribe today? in 2023. Now, full disclosure, the answer is yes. <laughs> and if you use my link down below, you'll also get a nice discount on your first month. And second full disclosure, Nigel or the Tech Tribe did not sponsor me or pay me to make this video. I actually sent Nigel a message a few days ago asking if he would mind if I made a video about the Tech Tribe, mostly because I wanted to ask if I was allowed to show what's under the hood. I'm very aware that I don't wanna like, breach any confidentiality or rules or give too much information away and like get in trouble. And he kindly said yes and suggested a few areas that I'm allowed to show you in a bit more detail behind the scenes without breaking any of the rules. So first up, it is the monthly marketing pack, which the Tribe produces each and every single month for you. Now there are six videos, an email newsletter, 30 social media posts, three different versions of a printed newsletter, eight versions of an older like, legacy printed newsletter, six blog posts, 18 images for social posts, 18 sets of text for those social posts, and also eight nurture emails to load into your CRM system. Now that is a lot of stuff. And to stop this video just being like an hour long, let's just look at one of those. So let's take a look at the printed newsletter. So they have a system here where you can upload your own logos, profile images, enter your own phone numbers and customize it down to like the colors and fonts that you're using, you know, for your own business. So when you download the newsletter, it literally generates you like the entire newsletter with all your own graphics and colors and themes. So you can literally just download this and send it straight out to your clients if you wanted to. Now it is only a two page newsletter compared to my own newsletter when I ran my own MSP, which was eight pages long. And I'd say this is better than the Tech Tribes newsletter. And it should be because it took far more than the literal five minutes it took to produce the Tech Tribes newsletter. Five minutes. Do you know what else I can do in five minutes? Babe, I'm ready. So that is the first thing. Now, second thing, they give you for free, well, as part of your membership, a 40 page Cyber Essentials booklet that you can download, again, customize and print to your desire. Now this covers all of the basics that your customers should know and follows the likes of uh, NIST in the US and specifically Cyber Essentials in the UK. And there is a slightly shorter version of that specifically for UK MSPs. Again, totally customizable. You can download the Adobe InDesign templates and you can then make it your own and like, you know, rewrite it in your own language if you need to. Thirdly, direct mail campaign. Now you have to watch a 25 minute training session on how you actually use this before you get access. But once you do that, it unlocks a huge number of resources. Now, one of which is this first class campaign, which includes this first class ticket design, which will appear up here somewhere maybe, which is pretty neat. You get the ticket design itself, as well as an envelope design. So you can basically get those designed, again, customize them, add your client's names onto the tickets, and then hand them out as a really unique way to win new business. Absolutely love that. And again, just one of, honestly, like countless others that you get access to. Fourthly, onboarding documentation. Now there is everything from an authorization letter, which notifies your client suppliers that they can work with you on their behalf. There is a client manual that you can issue to train your clients on being a good client and also like setting expectations. A whole onboarding process, intake surveys, new client kickoff agendas, emails, even a takeover pack that you can send to the outgoing provider to complete to make sure that you're not missing any of the information. Now, I don't know about you, but if one of my clients was leaving and their new provider sent me this thing to complete, I'm thinking two things. Number one, f off. I'm not filling that stuff in. I'm gonna do an export from our systems and make sure we pass everything over, but we're passing it over in our own way. Like I'm not gonna spend hours filling this stupid, 23 page, yeah, 23 page document in. Unless of course I can bill that to somebody. So that makes a difference. <laughs> and I'm also thinking number two, they look like they are really organized. Like in reality, I'd probably use this document to start building out my own one. One that's not as long as this one in personal opinion here, but it makes sure to ask all of the right questions to make sure that nothing's forgotten about or, you know, left behind. But you just can't argue here that the information in it 
isn't good. There are also job descriptions, email templates, workshops. There's a whole LinkedIn course there from my friend Andrew Moon. And there is a bunch of legal templates here. Now, those templates are only useful if, of course, you actually need them. And um, we tried using these templates in our business uh, as a UK business to start with. And um, they're, they're written very friendly, like in a, like a friendly Australian way of like, good day, mate. You want to sign up for some IT? But what I would say as a long-standing UK Tech Tribe member is that the legal templates, I don't think they've been updated since I joined, other than adding in some UK specific templates a couple of years ago. But again, I don't think they've been updated since. And this is a problem that I've recently tried to help solve by, oh, wait, 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 wait. First, a word from our sponsor, me. <laughs> Now, for those watching from the UK, I have recently launched a pack of UK specific legal templates for MSPs with direct access to the UK solicitor who actually wrote them, who can then, of course, like defend you in court if necessary. So I've literally spent tens of thousands of pounds on my own money in recent months to get these for you. There are terms and conditions, managed service agreements, lease line, backup, telecoms, employment contracts, and so many more. And we're going to add to them over time as well. Now, all of them are kept up to date. In fact, I've just spent another six grand with the solicitor for making updates and making changes which have been suggested by others who have signed up recently. Now, all of this for one grand per year, which is less than the cost of getting just one of those templates made. Now, they're always up to date with the latest legislation changes, and it's just a way for you to have access to a growing library of templates without footing this massive legal bill for you know, solicitor's fees, like I did, to draw up each of these templates from scratch. So yeah, sign up using the link down below. Tech Tribe members also get a discount on their first year, by the way. And thank you to me for sponsoring this video. <laughs> now, next, let's talk about Growably, which is basically a whole CRM system for your MSP. Now, it's built upon a platform called High Level. And for Tech Tribe members, it is completely free, which is absolutely nuts. Now, it is a CRM system with all of the usual CRM type things in there. There's email campaigns, segregation, and you know all that kind of stuff. But it also does some extra things like social media scheduling. There is a chat widget for your website. There's a whole calendar booking system. And you can even make your entire website in Growably, which one of my coaching clients has done. And I'll show that now if he'll let me do that. Now, this in itself is huge value for the cost of your monthly membership. But personally speaking, other tools look and work better. But that is literally if you take the best of breed products and then match them up against Growably, which in a way is a jack of all trades and a place where you can have everything in that one place. Also, the Tech Tribe preload some assets and campaigns and things into there for you. So you don't have to do that into your own system versus having, you know, multiple different websites and services and managing multiple logins and, you know, all that kind of mess. So things like my personal favorites like Calendly, Meet Edgar, HubSpot, Active Campaign, I think are all better. But factor in that HubSpot, for example, we were spending hundreds per month on just HubSpot when Growably is literally free, well, as part of your membership. And when you factor that cost in, or rather lack of cost in, it is a huge win personally. Now I dread to think how much like the tech tribe is paying for that kind of thing, but let's keep going. So a few more things to go. Community forum. Now this one, I can't really show you so much because it's full of you know other people's names who are having like real discussions. So you'll just have to trust me on this bit. Now, this was honestly the thing that kept me being a sticky tech tribe member to begin with. Now I'm not saying you should spend all day on these forums because you just won't have time for that as a business owner. But the fact there is an active forum with so many other supportive MSP owners around the world who are willing to give you their no holds barred like blunts and like honest opinions. It's good at times when you need help or just need to hear the honest truth about something. Now, they've also been really great discussing recent breaches such as the last pass one earlier this year, where everyone is working together to figure out, you know, the best way of tackling the problem together and communicating with your clients and those kind of things. And if you are still using LastPass now, then all I can say is farewell and Godspeed. Now, the community doesn't stop there either. I've been attending the local Tech Tribe meetings, which are around about a 30 minute drive here from where I am here in the UK. They have them all over the UK and in other parts of the world too, I believe. And again, great, valuable to be able to sit in a room with other MSPs to discuss everyone's challenges. Now, all of them are sponsored by PAX8 here in the UK. And by sponsored, I mean that I arrive, I eat free pizza, and drink free beer, and then I go home again <laughs> without without being pitched to by Pax8. I've not even seen anyone who works for Pax8 attend one of the meetings yet, but I'm not sure if they've noticed that yet. So, shh. So, so yeah, if you like free beer and pizza and you run an MSP, get yourself to one of these events. I don't think you even need to be a Tech Tribe member to go. So um, yeah, let's talk about the cost. It is 
$49 per month. $49? $49? It's just 49 bucks. Do you know what else costs $49? Hang on a minute. Clogs, which are apparently making a comeback. These cost around 49 bucks. Comfortable, great for all situations perhaps. As valuable as a Tech Tribe membership. Questionable. Or a Yeti Rambler. Practical, convenient, long lasting, much like the one that I actually received from the Tech Tribe last year. Between the free merch and Growably, I'm not even sure how Nigel makes a profit. And if you use the link down below, you can get your first month for, I think it's like more like $29. 29 bucks. $29? It's 29 bucks. $29 to access all of the stuff that I've mentioned, especially since technically you could do what I originally planned to do, which was sign up using the discount, download all of the resources and then cancel my membership. <laughs> but honestly, the value you get for $49 per month, the CRM, the marketing, the community, the tribal meetups, if I was running an MSP personally, I'd be happy paying more like 100 to 200 per month for this thing. So to answer the question of, is the tech tribe worth joining in 2023? Personally, I think it is. I think it's one of the first things that any MSP should join. And if I'm wrong, then tell me down below in the comments because I don't think I am. Or if you're a happy Tech Tribe member, comment down below as well. Always a fun game to play. Now, it doesn't matter if you are just starting out or if you've been in business for a decade. It is a great source of knowledge and one that I'm happy just to be a part of still, even though I don't own an MSP anymore, just to be involved in the community, the local meetings. And Nigel Moore, the owner, is just an all round like solid guy who's looking to make the Tech Tribe the best it can be. So if you haven't joined already, or if you joined and then left because you thought it wasn't useful, use the link down below to get your first month for around about $29 and just see for yourself. And also whilst you're here, maybe stick around, maybe subscribe down below this video and check out some of the other videos I've put together to help MSPs like you grow.